Sweden is very happy to, through SIDA, to donate top-notch equipment, scientific equipment, to SIPE. This equipment will help uh, the African researchers working here with solutions for the future. I'm very certain that from these laboratories will come out solutions that will save millions and millions and millions worth of food that will reduce the harmfulness of certain uh, pests and that will provide new types of nutrition for the people on this continent. Together with the SIPE, Sweden is pioneering the possible. We find solutions to the most urgent problems we see on this continent right now. Uh, SIPE is the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology, headquartered in Nairobi, Kenya. It is a world-class not-for-profit organization that was established about 50 years ago. SIPE is the principal insect and arthropod research center in Africa, whose mission is to improve the health, food and nutrition security as well as environmental sustainability of the peoples of Africa. This mission is aligned with the UN Sustainable Development Goals and the development priorities of sub-Saharan African countries, including the peace, the industrial competitiveness and prosperity goals of the African Union Agenda 2063. With more than 500 staff, 471 graduate students annually, more than 300 partner organizations, including 79 universities and operations in 42 African countries, ACP is one of the main agricultural and biological research institutes in Africa. ACP is an FAO designated reference center for vector-borne animal diseases a Stockholm Convention Regional Center for Reduction of Persistent Pollutants and World Organization for Animal Health Center for Bee Health in Africa. ACP is also the 2020 Food Planet Prize winner for transformative and innovative work on edible insects. Thanks to CEDA, since 2014, uh, the Behavior and Chemical Ecology Unit has been carrying out transformative research. Uh, because of the funding we received for $1.54 million in equipment grant. We've been delivering high quality products. It has made the unit very globally competitive and then allowed us to train high quality uh, students within Africa. In 2022, we received $2.6 million for center-wide equipment. It has allowed all our 4-H programs uh, to be well equipped and to sustain the momentum that we started in 2014. Please listen to our scientists to tell us a lot more about what these instruments mean to them and what they can do. This is a quantitative and qualitative uh, real-time PCR system funded by CEDA. We can do pest identification, we can do population genetics, genetic diversity, and also advanced microbiome analysis with this machine. With the current trend in climate change, there's an upsurge of uh, invasive pests and diseases across borders. So this machine will enable us to do rapid identification and population genetics of these pests and diseases to put in place proper, sustainable and eco-friendly integrated pest management system for these pests and diseases and also monitor the effects of this uh, integrated pest management system on the biodiversity and environment. This instrumentation is called GCEAD, funded by CEDA. It allows us to be able to analyze naturally occurring chemical compounds that influence the behavior of insects, which serve as pests for our crops and also as vectors that transmit diseases to livestock and humans. By analyzing these compounds, it enables us to be able to formulate novel control tools which can be used in their management. And this is so crucial, especially in the area of climate change, where we are seeing an increase in the incidence of pest populations and also outbreaks of diseases caused by vectors. And therefore, this will go a long way to help us in our goal to be able to contribute to novel tools in their management. This equipment is called uh, Multigas Analyzer, funded by CEDA. It will enable us to measure 
greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane and nitric oxide. So the, the important, the significance of this machine is it will enable us to tell whether our practices, whether livestock keeping or agriculture is uh, climate smart or you know, environmentally friendly. The unit has at the moment two equipments that are serving our purpose. What you are seeing in front here is liquid chromatography that is linked to tandem mass spectrometry. This system is good to analyze target pesticide analysis. We also have a liquid chromatography linked to time of flight mass spectrometry, which is good for unknown uh, type of analysis. The two equipment, despite them being good, there are limitations in, in that the accuracy is mid ranges. CEDA has given us fund to upgrade the equipment to a new level of science where we are currently now uh, planning to purchase an Orbitrap system which has high mass resolution and high accuracy. That equipment will assist us unravel all the unknown small molecules and big molecules including proteins which are very good in terms of biological importance. This is a spectral radiometer funded by CEDA. The spectrometer is a unique ground-based sensor used to capture reflectance in a full spectrum from 350 to 2500 nanometer. Uh, this data is very important and can be used to assess insect and pest damage as well as characterizing flower spectral features and uh, this data can also be used uh, to calibrate satellite data. This gizmo here is called the Macropod system. It was funded by CETA can now address a significant problem in describing and identifying insects, in particular the smallest of the small, the uh, parasitoids, which play such an important role in maintaining the health of uh, habitats and in fighting against uh, pests of human cultivated crops. This is a ultra low temperature freezer for long-term storage of biological samples. ICP has recently received five such units to support our research activities. 